Hey guys, Joel Nickerson here. Here to tell you a few things about the Ford uh, 2012 Super Duty. We've got Shannon Young behind the camera. Gonna just go over and hit on a few things you may or may not know about Fords. Come this way, Shannon. Uh, in the new 2012, go in here. We've got the new and large dinner plate sized blue oval. Ford's making a statement. Big badging, big truck, awesome truck. This 2012 is actually a King Ranch uh, with the chrome package. So it's got just about everything that you're going to see as an option on any of the other trucks. This one has it. I'm not going to hit on a lot of the features and options. I'm just going to go through and do some real basic stuff, give you some stuff to look at. There's a lot of technical stuff that I'll get the top of, give you enough information that maybe you'll want to look up and do a little research yourself. Come over here with the 2012. One thing that we are really pleased to see is that Ford continued their commitment to the exposed hubs. If you get down here and look, Shannon, you've got the option for lock and auto. Now, this has got shift on the fly four-wheel drive. So what that means to you is when you're in the cabin, you can turn the button and it goes into four-wheel drive. But my gosh, what if that fails? With a vacuum sealed system, you're in trouble. You're calling a wrecker, you're done. With the Ford system, with an Allen wrench, you can actually unbolt the hub, get in and repair the issue, or bolt in a second hub. Pull it off your buddy's truck. Some guys even carry spares. Warren hubs will bolt in. They're $80, $90, depending on where you get them. This is something that Ford's been doing for a long time, and we're pleased to see that they've continued doing it. They're one of the few trucks that do it. Uh, this truck is equipped with the FX4 package. Quick reference tool on that is Shannon, if you look back in here and you see the red boot housing, that lets you know that it's got the Rancho shock. The other really easy way to tell that you've got an FX4. This is what I do is I look back here and it says FX4 off-road. That's a really nice package when you're looking at trucks. More than just the flashy boots that go on your Rancho shocks, it gives you surface skid plates for your transmission, transfer case, fuel tanks. So the important components, it's not a standard thing from Ford. New into 2011 and carried over into 12, the game changer event is now a fully locking rear axle. Really makes a difference. I'd be lying if I said I had used it a few times to get myself out of some oh no situations. But let me show you a couple things that the Super Duty has that'll help keep you out of some of those oh situations. You know, normally there's not a lot to talk about when you get to the back side of a pickup truck. There's a couple things back here to keep you out from those oops situations. Rear vehicle aid sensors. Audible beep inside the cab when you engage the reverse. What it's going to do is let you know uh, if there's an object behind you at six feet. As you get closer, it speeds up in sound and in speed. Now, I'm 5'7", even though when I was playing basketball I said I was six foot. Let's be honest, I'm 5'7". There's not a whole lot of me that can be seen behind the cabin here uh, with the tailgate up. A lot of peace of mind if you've got kids, grandkids, things like that, that are under that, uh, you know, about five foot mark, which would be my wife, you can know they're behind you. Also with this, you've got a rear backup camera. That shoots down directly onto your receiver hitch, then also back behind you. Uh, what's great about that is, again, you've got sound and sight. There's no reason to back up into anything or anyone. Uh, we do have it programmed where if you do, your wife's voice comes on and says, I told you so. It's a few hundred bucks, but I believe me, it's well worth it. You never want to hear that. But no, in all seriousness, two great safety features that are a must for me and my vehicles. Letting the tailgate down. This is a solid tailgate. Weighs about 95 pounds. However, you wouldn't know that. Yes, I am incredibly strong, but not that strong. There's actually a torsion spring that runs down the entire length of this tailgate, making it easier to open and close without crunching fingers, without bending the tailgate. Um, standard circular prong and four prong uh, is set up on this truck. Shannon, let's go around this way to keep away from the road noise. A couple things uh, that are new in the 2012. With Ford, you've always had the highest ratings in safety. A couple things that they did this year to make it even better is add a stability control for your trailer. And this is where it gets a little bit out there and you want to do your own research. But what I'm telling you is, is when you hook your trailer on, it's going to run through into the motherboard computer and hook into your built-in trailer brake controller. So if that trailer starts to sway, the computer's going to sense it. It's going to start applying braking pressure 
to your trailer brakes to your truck to help straighten that trailer out. Also, because this is a big mamba jamba, people always worry about rollovers. This has rollover and yaw sensors. If it feels the truck is going into an unsafe angle, it'll cut engine power. It'll cut power to wheels and tires, give braking where needed to help stabilize that vehicle. Why is that a big deal? With 400 horsepower, 800 foot pounds of torque, you got a lot of power to get the load up and moving. Uh, for people that aren't truck experts, they go, well, what's the difference between horsepower and torque? Torque's what gets the mass up and moving. Horsepower takes over and gives you speed and gets you down the road. Why is that important? This truck in a fifth wheel application or a gooseneck application in the bed is able to tow 24 450. Off the receiver hitch or conventional towing, 17 750. So a lot of load. Now, Shannon, if you come over here, you'll see on this truck, you can get up in the bed. It actually has the gooseneck and fifth wheel prep package and it's pre wired. So it's, it's work ready for most customers. Why don't we take a look at the interior and I'll show you a couple things that I always like to hit on that uh, not everyone maybe knows about. This is new to this year and it's a storage compartment down in underneath the seat that's actually lockable. There's also a 12 volt uh, power point here, a 12 volt power point in the rear console and a 110 plug-in. So in case you forgot your cell phone charger, but you've got your traditional travel charger or your hair dryer, whatever you might need. Um, in our case, we may have used a breast pump a time or two in the back with having an infant. It will work. It's a really nice feature to not have to always worry about bringing in uh, a cigarette adapter. You've got your easy to access hand holds, which being of shorter stature and having small kids, it's great to be able to get people in the back and get them feeling safe. One of the things that uh, is probably better for radio than television is right up here is that these vehicles come equipped with side airbags and overhead control or roll of control. Side airbags and overhead canopy. <laughs> Whichever. <laughs> As you wish. Uh, so in, that means is that in the event the vehicle were to get hit, were to be rolling, it's going to have the side airbags that are going to come out. You've got the air canopy from the top. It's going to stay inflated for the amount of time that they figure it would take to make three complete rolls of the truck. These are also intelligent side airbags. I've got small kids. I worry about these things. What if my son is sleeping here on the side and he's got his head up against the window? The airbags are designed to come down uninflated, slide past the occupant's head, and then inflate when it gets to the bottom so that it'll come down and move the passenger's head away instead of crushing down onto the passenger's head. Little things that mean a lot to those of us as parents. Uh, when you get into the vehicle, this vehicle is equipped with sync. I'm just going to hit on a few things that it will do for you. Uh, that takes care of your hands-free calling, allowing you to do voice dialing from the car. The sound comes through the speakers, if it's a private call, you can revert it back to your handheld uh, device, but in the state of Oregon, it's the law. So you're staying legal and compliant here. You can also receive and send text messages with certain phones. You can Bluetooth your music from your handheld device. Um, some of the new upgrades is it's got turn-by-turn -turn directions. You can actually give it a city and a state and an address, and it'll get you turn-by-turn -turn to where you need to get to stock updates, uh, fuel prices, a lot of things that you'd spend a lot of money on a navigation system for come free. Or if you opt, like in this truck, with the navigation, it gives you the larger 8-inch backup camera. If you don't have the navigation, your backup camera is up in your rearview mirror. Just a few things to kind of hit on. Um, talk to you about horsepower, talk to you about torque. We showed you the optional fifth wheel trailer tow package. We've talked about some of the four-wheel drive components, uh, talked a little bit about the FX4 package. Those are the things that I talk to my customers about that I always want them to do a little bit more research on their own. Uh, we all drive our trucks differently, but we all have, to a certain extent, the same lifestyle. We want to jump in our truck, we want to take off, we want to go and build memories. I'm confident that this truck can build a lot of memories. That's why I've got one in my driveway.